This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, one important session that you have, I mean, thing that you have to understand is if you have to learn Tosca, there is like no coding knowledge is required. It's completely a script plus tool. There is no need that you have to write any script. You just have to utilize the things, whatever are there in the Tosca and then start building your script. Okay. So that is all you learn in this course, total training course, like 30 hours is our course. And in all these 30 hours, what all the things we will learn, all those things, I'll give you an introduction. Okay. Sure. Okay. And I would really love to everyone to talk so that it will be a uh, um, session like everyone is talking and we are, I mean, I'm getting experiences how you are learning. Okay. So it's not like I will be teaching and you will be listening. That is not at all what you get from this Tosca and everything, whatever you learn is practical. Okay. So I'll tell the concept. You will practice and you will tell me, okay? So, if I have time in the class, I will give you the time immediately or in the, in the same day you will go, I will give the assignment. You go, practice it and come back and say, okay, this is what I have faced, okay? This is the issue, okay? I know everyone, everyone is working or everyone might be busy with their day-to-day uh, -day life. I know everyone doesn't have time to do, okay? So, only thing I'll ask is Saturday and Sunday, whatever time we are sparing like this one hour, spare that time and sit and do that practice, okay? So, that is what I ask you for. So, if you can practice along with me in the class and also in the Saturday, Sunday, Sundays, I am sure everyone will gonna get at least four certifications, okay? So, I am telling just at least four certifications. You have to understand how many certifications and how much knowledge you can get, okay? <clears throat> when you complete this sort of score, okay, everything is a real time example. Whatever I teach, whatever I taught in my project, the same kind of knowledge I'll be sharing it here, okay. So you can even face your interview questions. Uh, you can even you can even put a experience of three years with whatever knowledge I am sharing it here. Okay, it's not only the syllabus I am covering. I am also covering the interview questions and also I'll be telling. Okay, this is one important point. You have to concentrate on more. Okay, <coughs> like that, a guidance will also be given. Okay. So you have to take advantage and you have to come up with more and more questions so that I can teach you more and more. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so before jumping into what we are learning in Tosca. So I'm not sure everyone knows about uh, what is Tosca, why is Tosca and there are some certifications. Okay. So let me start with the certification concept and then we'll move on to the concept why we have to choose Tosca and what is Tosca. <clears throat> okay. So basically this Tosca tool is developed by uh, this Tricentis. Okay, Tricentis is the one who owns the Tosca. So that is a one point. Uh, and other one is this Tricentis has only made effort to start with these all different types of certifications. Okay, if you see AS1, AS2, A1. So there's, I mean, different certification paths you can choose if you want to learn more about Tosca. Okay, so for anything or everything you want to learn Tosca, the basic certification that you want is the first one called as Automation Specialist 1 and the second one is Automation Specialist 2. Okay, so these two things we are covering in our sessions. Okay, so all the syllabus, whatever is there for AS1 and AS2, we'll be covering in our sessions. And these are the main foundation for you to learn Tosca. Okay, even if you are deployed in the project, you want to do some test cases, you want to do some test, test sheet creations. All the things can be done under AS1 and AS2. If you are learning AS1 and AS2, you are good enough to start with your Tosca tool. Okay. 
So even if you are going for any interviews, the first question they ask you is, did you complete AS1 certification? Did you complete AS2 certification? Okay. Along with that, we are also giving certification for TDS2. Okay. This is test design specialist uh, 2. Okay. Level 2. So we do have test design specialist 1. But for our uh, syllabus, whatever we can cover, we are trying to cover test design specialist 2. Okay. And this TDS1 is one advanced topic we are covering in other course for this course we are only taking up automation specialist level 1 automation specialist level 2 this one and tds2 okay so all these three certifications are free of cost i will guide you how to uh, how to uh, go and enroll for this uh, exam and how to uh, what type of questions you are getting and also we will discuss some sample papers it's not like uh, one sample paper we will discuss and more and more of practical knowledge okay so there are lots of people in, in the current market where they do have certifications but if i go and sit with them and ask some questions they're not ready to answer okay but you will not be in that position if you are joining in this course okay that is for sure and one more thing yeah tds2 okay so along with this we are also explaining about how to connect with your database how to play around with your database tables and all all those things are also covered here uh, it's called as database testing we are also covering database testing here and also we are also covering api testing okay how to load an api how to convert your apis into your test cases and how to um, I mean manipulate your test cases like create more number of test cases and uh, do the validations okay so those part and all is also covered in our program okay so this is all about our program so if you have any questions and queries you can ask me once you are done with your questions then I will move on to the next topic called why Tosca and why is it so much familiar and has become so much famous in our current market. Uh, yeah. Okay so can I go first? Yes yes please go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so as you said, uh, uh, you will be preparing us for AS1, AS2 and directly uh, TDS2. So, uh, I mean, to give TDS2, is this uh, required to complete TDS1? No, no, it is not required. Okay, but for AS2, it is required to complete AS1, right? Yes, AS1 and AS2 are mandatory to start with any of your exam. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm, what, who's the next one? Yeah, Mohan, please go ahead. Uh, hi, Mansa. This is Bimlesh. Uh, you can call me with my first name. Um, okay. So, Sorry. Yeah. Sure. So two uh, basic things that I uh, want. I don't know if I this was already on set because I joined uh, two or three minutes late. So uh, okay. I currently am doing the role of a test manager and I have uh, 18 years of experience. Uh, in my last appraisal, my uh, manager said that most of the people are already aware of Selenium with Java. So uh, these days clients are uh, preferring people who have Tosca knowledge. So that's yeah. how I got interested into this uh, particular uh, tool. Uh, so is it true that uh, these days uh, the preference uh, from the customer side is more on Tosca uh, in comparison with Selenium? Yes, correct. So that is the reason you are also here, right, Bimlesh? <laughs> uh, right, but uh, still I had this doubt and then I thought maybe in the first yeah. interaction session. I yeah, yeah. because uh, I'll tell you why. Because um, the... I mean, you don't you don't need to have it's like complete scriptless tool. OK, so any manual tester hardly like for AS1, there's like uh, if you if you sit for four hours or five hours a day, you can complete in one week total course. OK, so one week, if you train a manual tester, he becomes an automation tester. OK, so that is okay. a one point. Whereas coming to Selenium Java, he has to learn Java first and he has to learn what is Selenium okay so it will take even if you are like too intelligent it will take at least two weeks to understand java and selenium right 
again you have to start yeah. building your framework all those things even if it is a free tool as tosca has uh, widened up its wings okay so now if you come to tosca it's like a uh, uh you you know right hypermarket the concept of hypermarket the same strategy right. tosca is implementing with all its tool okay so once you come uh, complete your uh, test case preparation here you have a tool called q test tool okay where it's similar like an alm okay alm and jira you can integrate right. with it and you can do everything okay if you have mobile mobile application to test you can go do a mobile application testing okay web application testing okay. is done salesforce application is done uh, and what uh, sap is done non desktop is also done okay so it's like one tool you get all the solutions but only thing is it is cost it is, i mean you have to buy the tool even it, they are not going back as they have to buy the tool they are more interested into learning this new tool because this is a complete scriptless tool anyone can understand what are you doing anyone who is a normal tester or a normal person who comes sees your test scripts he can understand okay this is how this is how this happens okay so that is the visibility of tosca okay and uh, my uh, last question uh, so as you said this uh, tool is used on a variety of uh, applications like uh, salesforce or sap or web based or desktop so during this training program mansa are we focusing on any particular application or uh, like the yeah, demo application that we will be using is it yeah, based on coming. some sap or uh, is it generic one it's a web application tool we'll be doing uh, okay. at, uh aspect, i mean there's a website that is designed by trescent is only they only took that effort to make us get ready with this tool okay so that to that web based application we'll be working on but for any other thing whatever might be the application it might be the salesforce it might be sap it might be anything okay you have to know the basic the basic is what you learn in as only difference okay. is like one or two things might differ so rest everything is same all right thanks ma'am sir yeah no problem uh, oh, yes, sir, so with... yes. yeah yes yeah, so... uh, regarding the database in transit certificate which part we should follow sorry i did not get you the db testing you are talking about na so is there is a certification for db testing also yeah yeah we do have a testing a db testing it is not mentioned here i mean this is a okay. almost like uh, i mean oldest document i have i mean just a normal on the higher level okay so apart mm -hmm. from this there are so many certifications that you if you explore there sorry if you explore you can see more uh, certifications and yes we will help you in completing your database testing also okay man okay man sir yeah uh, uh, yes. hi manasa mohan here uh, will you also be covering mobile automation uh in this not in this course we are only doing web application testing okay thanks yeah next so question. any any other course for mobile automation like or uh, this is the only course that you are providing i mean we are planning to uh, i mean uh, advanced thing but whatever even if you have to go for advanced you have to learn the basic okay so okay, that yes, thing yes. i can tell you but there what i will do i'll directly jump into what you have to do okay so better okay. you i would suggest if every, anyone is looking for advanced i would suggest to go for basic first so that you will have all the knowledge then after see there are so many people in my uh, last batches they have already done my, uh, basic and they are only coming back and uh, like just giving ask me questions saying that okay this is uh, only a uh, doubt i have rest all i could do with the help of what uh, you taught me so that is a level of confidence i got okay 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 yeah uh mohan you still have question no madam sir that's it okay uh virendra kumar is the next one who is yeah man sir uh yeah. so can we automate uh, salesforce applications yeah you can automate salesforce application okay yeah yeah 
Yeah, because currently we are working in uh, Salesforce. Uh, yeah, you can Salesforce. automate Salesforce application uh, as I told it, right? For anything, the basic thing, what you have to do is the same, okay? So only okay. only uh, difference is the application differs, okay? So that is also one reason why Tosca is uh, now mostly famous in the current trend. Okay, okay. So do we, I mean, we can yeah. also automate like integration, right? Uh, for example, we are integrating a to Salesforce with another tool like uh, ERP tool like Econ or SAP. So do we yes, also yes. automate those things, right? Yeah, both both of them you can do. Integration is also possible. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I see one more. Uh, Mayan, please go ahead. Yes. Yes, madam. Uh, shall we cover uh, API automation as well, madam? Web service, I mean, services, API services. Yeah. Yeah, we are covering API also. Okay. And every day, uh, every day class recording will be provided uh, day by day. Every day uh, class recording will be provided and uh, the recordings are for your lifetime access. Okay. You can anytime go back and refer your recordings. You can go and check back it and uh, yeah, any other question. Okay, and all real-time scenarios also will be covered, yes, madam. Yes, yes, we are doing the practical. It's not like I just teach and you just go. It's not like that. You have to sit with me. You have to. Hey, Mansa, like, on the side. Yeah, Amit, please go ahead. Uh, hi, Mansa. Yeah, my question is: uh, are, are, Can we test patient or uh, tableau reports as well using Tricent Tosca? Uh, sorry, can you can you repeat it? So, can we test uh, a Citrix-based application where Citrix login is required and some yeah yeah and then, the, we can, uh, then some flow? We can, yeah, yes, we can do that. And uh, Tableau, uh, can we test Tableau dashboards? Tableau dashboards, I'm not pretty much sure of what Tableau is. I have to just check on it and I can come back. Okay. Okay. So actually Tableau is giving some kind of a reports, uh, reports and all. So actually Tableau is publishing reports and all. So they are uh, giving kind of a PDF kind of a uh, online PDF kind of a, uh, reports. So is it feasible to uh, read something from I, the PDF I, using uh, Tosca? Yeah, yeah, PDF, yeah, PDF thing we can do it on Tosca. We do have it. We can do that. And is it? I mean, is it possible to know that uh, what is the charges we will be getting using uh, for this tool? What is that? I mean, and charges charges about the tool do you know that uh, what is the license fee will cost us let's say uh, if we are uh, if we are learning here then uh, obviously we need to tell uh, to the managers and the leaders in the organization that how much this is going to cost us no actually uh, if you Any are knowledge about that yeah if you are enrolling with this with us right so we'll be giving you the tool access mm -hmm. and you will you will have three months of validity and you can use it okay and uh, uh, you can also once you are enrolled with us right you can also know how to extend that validity we will discuss it in the later stages uh, but if you are only worried about okay. the tool how to get the tool for practice session no need to worry we'll be handling i mean we'll be giving everyone the tool access and everyone will have that is what i was about to tell so uh, my class starts only with the uh, what uh, uh, installation of tosca okay so once everyone's machine has tosca installed only then i start my class okay and it's not like i'll be seeing okay i will ask any one of our i mean class so that uh, you can show up in the screen i can uh, 
peep into your screen i have that screen access so i can just take the control and i'll just uh, ask you to do something or something like that okay so that it will be an interactive session it's not like only i teach you listen so i don't want to make that practice it's like an interactive session that is for sure and practice will be for sure is there No need to worry about, okay, I'm enrolling into this. I have to practice. So that kind of stress, there is nothing needed. Okay. Whatever I tell in class, I will give five to 10 minutes of time daily so that you can just simply go and revise the topic if you want. Or if you want, you can go ahead and do the YouTube recording again. You can uh, go back and learn the YouTube recording or it's sufficient whatever you learn in this topic class only saturday sunday i'll ask you to put one hour of extra effort to complete the just practice session that's it but everyday assignments will be there okay any other questions that i have to do i have one question man sir uh, yeah, like see uh, i hear like there's sap related things for example you are telling right apa and web uh, web ui uh, automation you can teach right so mm -hmm. for example if i want to by learning this web ui and api automation can i automate sap applications based on this knowledge yeah you can do it so whenever we are into the class right i can mm -hmm. i will tell you okay uh, so for sap this is how you have to proceed for application you have this is how to there is a very small difference okay so that difference i don't think it would be a problem for you but if you have to do the SAP also, right, you have to know the basics like what are the standards that Recentis has to follow and what is a folder structure and how to use which module. So I, directly you cannot go and dive into a big swimming pool of uh, 20 feet or 30 feet, right? First, we will start from 5 feet, 10 feet, then 15, 20, right? So that is how I will generally suggest if, if you want to learn SAP, that is fine, perfectly fine. But do come with this course you will learn the basics and then you can automate sap you can try sap there are a lot of people in my batch who will do their application uh, testing simultaneously if they are coming through some with issues or errors i'll come hey manusa this is what okay then i'll sit with them i'll try to uh, resolve the issue as soon as possible that is how there are people who were doing in my previous batches Hope I answered your question. Yeah, yes, ma'am. So, like, for example, Web UI means like we don't want any uh, login related things and all. No need, just we can directly test like that, right? By using Web UI. No, no. But no. SAP, SAP related things we need, right? Something to application access and all, right? That we cannot, we can practice without that. See, here, whatever to whatever application we are trying to uh, use right this is the application i'm trying to access here also only if you log in right then only you can enter and you can see that things okay so everything this especially this uh, whatever website that we are seeing right this is developed by Tresentis to cover all the functionalities and all the different concepts that we can cover in our uh, testing so that is why we generally, uh, if, if at all you are doing it for first time, we will ask to practice in this demo web shop, then come back to actual project. So that they will have enough knowledge to play around. All the things are here and they can do it. Okay, ma'am. So why I ask this question like SAP related, ma'am? So some, yeah. I, I, I heard something like SAP related to recent, recent Tosca is very popular like that they told me. So I asked. Yeah, that SAP. Yeah, SAP and Salesforce, it is very, recent Tosca is very, very uh, popular doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I asked. Okay, yeah. one more question I have. So, yeah, I don't, just, this is a, just, I have one clarification. Just, I don't know if it's a silly question or a good question. It's okay, uh, no problem. Any question is a question, that's it. <laughs> okay, see, what is my question? It is like, second question is like, uh, is it, uh, Tosca is like a uh, paid tool, okay? See, I feel like it is a more costly tool, but it will be only used by the uh, MNCs like that I heard actually. Mm -hmm. So what is what, what about the job openings like that compared to Selenium? It is like that huge openings will be there. Now it is not there for any technology openings. 
but uh, selenium will be use openings compared to selenium it will be have more uh, openings or not that what i am really that that is my question because tosca it is in a tool right uh, so yeah. selenium is, but that what i question what about like uh, getting the calls it is yeah. important right to get the job also you you will uh, you will get all the answers for the second question when i start my next half of the class okay, okay so that sure, is why sure. i this is the most asked question in my demo session so almost every time i face the session that is the reason i have uh, i have given that introduction of tosca okay you will answer will your question will be for sure answered mm, uh, are we going to test real time project as well? yes we are doing it Snigda, yes, we are doing it. Okay, so let me start uh, the next part of the session for today so that you will understand. So, so you might be, yeah, like uh, uh, Bharat has asked the question, right? So everyone has this doubt, will I get my calls, interview calls, okay? So I will tell, you will for sure get the interview calls. You have to expose your uh, resume like that. Okay, that is a one main point. So even after you get calls, it's not necessary that you will crack in the interview. Okay, so uh, even if you show that you have completed AS1 and AS2, that is not what they want. They want the knowledge. Okay, so you'll get enough knowledge when you are with this course and we will see why Tosca has become that much popular in this. Okay, so this is mainly it is called as model based test automation okay so what is model based we will be seeing slowly in our classes for today you just have to understand tosca is a model based test approach and to clearly tell you it's a codeless approach okay literally you don't need any 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 i mean like java selenium anything you don't need anything you just have to understand the tool that's it understanding the tool is very important so once you understand the tool you can play around with whatever test case might be you can just simply just do it in a fraction of seconds okay and this has become the market leading tool because it has database testing it has api testing you can do regression testing you can do functional testing you can do exploratory testing what kind of testing your project might be doing this will support most of most kind of testing okay so and also it supports api testing database testing i have told and it is very easy if you are doing an agile project right it is this tool also supports the agile methodology okay and uh, yeah so why nowadays it has become so much popular because nowadays no one wants to put so much of effort okay writing the code doing that and most of the people who who are i mean there might be like if you are if there are 100 people in a group right there mm -hmm. might be like 50 percent who can learn java selenium who have that capacity there are other 50 percent <clears throat> who cannot i mean who take a lot of time to learn the selenium okay as this is a scriptless tool even uh, clients who are coming they are showing so much of interest because even they can sit they can start doing test cases if someone is not coming okay so that kind of flexibility tosca has given so that is also one reason tosca has become so popular and especially this recent is has put a lot of effort to make this tool so much popular it has put one support support portal if at all if you are stuck somewhere in your tosca right uh, in generally if you are writing a selenium code or java code or selenium java or selenium python if you are stuck somewhere what you do you either go to your team lead who has uh, a knowledge about this or you go in a google randomly search right so but in in case of tosca when you are using tosca there's a support tool where there are people who will be when whenever you uh, give a query right there are people who will be answering your thing and it's like not only one answer you get you might get multiple answers you can try them and you can resolve them okay and whenever if your project is taking a tosca tool okay so they'll ask well uh, i mean i uh, i came across this kind of support when my project was uh, taking up tosca previously it was selenium java we have converted all our selenium javascripts into tosca 
okay so whenever we approach to uh, present this team showing that we need these many licenses and all so they also took the effort of putting one person from present is one person who can hand uh, who can uh, hand hold our team so that if they are somewhere stuck or somewhere some uh, they need some help to complete their test case they would help us they would guide us they would uh, make us uh, complete our uh, test cases okay so that kind of support tresentis has given us okay that is also third thing tresentis has become tosca has become so much popular in uh, nowadays because if you see selenium java selenium uh, python you don't get that kind of flexibility you have to go in google do some r and d or do go and do uh, some youtube and you have to search if there someone has uh, come across such kind of uh, errors or something like that only then you can get the solution but this is much effort they are putting so that it is accessible for everyone okay so that is what i can tell you and it is i told you right with minimum skill set only you can anyone can start coding okay uh, yeah if you see this graph has been changed sorry i couldn't change it but if you see this is a, uh, this is according to 2023 now we are in 2024 i forgot to update it so if you see information technology services 45 percent of people started using it and tosca is not only in it industry in banking financial services computer software whoever is doing a computer software and some transportation companies and automotive companies airline companies also started using tosca once they develop a tool automatically they want some someone to automate i mean someone to test it okay so and after they test they want it to automate so obviously when they want to automate they are trying to search for new tools okay even if you see for development also the tools has become so much like if, if you see your salesforce development team so they don't like in olden days they used to sit and write 100 200 lines of code nothing is there okay salesforce also have given a ready to go tool it's like you do maggie in two minutes the same way here tosca is also such easy tool that is the easiest way i can tell okay yeah these also started using tosca so if you if you are trying to put up your career in tosca you not only in it these are also other sectors you can start looking up i mean you can start getting your calls okay not only in industries if you see these are the other countries okay if you are planning to migrate from one country to another country so these are the highest chances see germany is now the leading leading uh, i mean country i mean in germany is one state where they are actually looking for resources okay if you go and see german portals there are lots and lots of uh, tosca uh, i mean tosca openings okay if you just know as one as two they are ready to hire you such kind of openings i have seen with my own eyes India is also, United States is also there, Netherlands, Austria, Switzerland, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, everywhere in every country, they have started using Tosca. So if you want to migrate to any other country, it's always good if you have Tosca in your resume. Yes like other uh, i mean other tools tosca also has some competitors if you see these are the top competitors of tosca like circle ci cucumber bitbucket robot framework catalon browser stack okay you can go on google and just get more and more knowledge how are these competitors how is the competition all those things okay yeah so as i've told you already it's a model based testing okay so it's like just uh, it's very simple to use like you can with the help of us scanning one technology you can i mean use that particular scan whatever you have scanned right so all those things you can use it like multiple for multiple test cases you can use it okay so what is you might have questions now what is she talking about what is the scan what is that okay you will understand the scan and everything in the later stages like next two days of the class like after that you will get more knowledge you'll be 
now you'll be hearing some new new words you just have to put it in your mind and you have to ask me you have asked me in the demo one day one that you have uh, told about this can you please explain okay yeah it's a dynamic ob object identification so if you see uh, the object can be identified dynamically not only through x path or some other properties by dynamically also you can use it okay this dynamic object identification is a one huge hit of tosca and we have a concept called libraries here so you can create n number of libraries and you can reuse them all around your test suite if you have 150 test cases you just create one library done 150 test cases can be done in one single day you don't believe we have created such kind of test suites like 300 400 test cases like in two to three days with the help of libraries that we have created okay you will understand how to create library all these things you will know in the later stages of our class and we have easy verification and validation methods like if you see uh, you just have to put some value here and here the action mode will be verified done your test case when you run your uh, test case tosca will automatically understand okay for this particular thing i have to go and verify okay let me go and verify this it will go verify it. if it is a true it will give a green if it is a false it will give a red okay so this is how tosca works okay so this is all about um, this thing and you might have question as this is a, a license tool how are we getting a tosca yes whoever is enrolled in our class you will be getting 90 days of tool and we will guide you and we will help you about the installation and all i told you right the day one of our i mean the next two three days will be the introduction after that our actual session starts so from the actual session it's like we'll be working we'll be writing we'll be doing everything on the two okay everyone will have two glasses and i will give you the class notes also it's like daily whatever we have discussed like main syntax and how to call that and there are a few more concepts like a single liner of what is that so that you can also make notes of your own or you can also take my notes i'll be sharing your notes day to day notes and also we'll be doing multiple assignments so that you will have hands on by the time you show your ace one ace two certification you can also tell that you have hands-on experience and we also do provide resume preparation and interview preparation help okay yeah this is all about so this is how our uh, i mean classes will go like uh, i have planned like this so this is how we'll be creating and we have few more additional topics we are doing ATDS2 and we do resume preparation we do interview uh, questions AS1 certification AS2 certification TDS2 and all these certifications are free I'll help you out how to do it any other questions and queries that I have to answer yes Manasa Parshuram here actually selenium yep. will perform the actions based upon the clicks for example for click and all we will write a X path but how about yeah. uh, tricentrics? It is based upon an image or a text. What based upon what it will work? It become uh, here also click works, but how the click works and all you will understand the later stages of the class. Yeah, you but here we need to write a X path or do we need to follow other approach? No, we are not doing X path here. We generally don't encourage doing X path here but we will have to scan we will get the technical properties of the module and with the other more other module properties we will try to scan we will try to tell tosca like you have to perform this action on this particular thing but do you have an option to write a xpath here as well automatically when you scan the xpath is also scanned okay thank you no problem Okay, any other questions, queries? Um, so this is Shraka. Uh, Sorry. So we have one question regarding the, uh, uh, like uh, how the objects are identified in the 
any web page using Tosca. Yeah. Yeah, that is the magic of Tosca. You'll you'll understand in the next. So I'll be telling like step by step how do we do. Yeah, Sorry? I have experience with uh, model based and uh, UFT and Selenium okay. and some testing tools. So I want to know how exactly this Tosca is going to identify each element in a web page. Yeah, to answer your question, here we have a concept called modules. In the module, we have to scan the application. We will, by while scanning the application, you will get everything, all whatever the properties are there on the particular application. Tosca will automatically get them onto that scanning window, and then you have to make it unique. That is the easiest way I can tell you for this demo session first class. In the later classes, for sure, you will be learning. So tomorrow, I'll tell you what is a module, how to scan a module, all those things. Slowly, we will learn. But whatever you have done in UFT, whatever you have done in other thing, it's like a little different from it. Okay. There you must have written like you have must have called like that application dot something dot uh, something and dot click, right? Something like that. Here there is nothing you have to write. Okay. Thank you. I'll show you some uh, sample test case. I'll see if it is open. Any other questions before the tool opens? Yeah, Manas and Nishant here. Uh, yeah. You said uh, we are going to test uh, all kind of uh, applications with this tool, like uh, different kind of testing, web-based and uh, API and uh, database testing, everything. So uh, in generally, we use uh, different kind of tools uh, to do uh, different kind of testing. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, selenium and postman etl tools mm -hmm. right so uh, how it going to be uh, in tosca so uh, are we going to uh, connect with uh, any other uh, uh, different tools uh, like plugins and integrations are uh, all those no, are, it's only uh, built in okay. yeah this is a built in tools if you see this is a tool right here if you yeah. see this is api testing so here when you click i can go ahead and do api testing and normal regression database testing, everything can be done here. Okay, so this is a tool. How you are seeing is this is a tool. And if you see, this is how I written one test case. It's a very simple test case that I have wrote. Okay. Uh, okay. One more so question. Is, yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with uh, Selenium or uh, any script based tool, uh mm -hmm. multiple users are working in the same environment so Correct. like uh they are uh connecting to the uh, centralized repository and uh, deploy their code and uh, updating their uh, updations with this mm -hmm. so uh how can uh here uh, multiple users are working uh in a same and uh, is there any framework to follow uh like uh with selenium uh, we follow test ng or cucumber mm -hmm. or, uh, hybrid framework or some, something like that so yeah. what kind of framework uh, Tosca does follow? Yeah, this is an inbuilt uh, do framework. Do we need to, uh, yeah, Yeah, it has an inbuilt framework for you, like Selenium, like uh, TestNG and all, there is no framework that you have to use it here, okay? You just have to utilize the tool, okay? And to answer your other question, there's a concept called multi-user repository where multiple people can work simultaneously, okay? So how to work on that multiple uh, user and all, I will tell you in the tomorrow's class, okay? How this multiple people will sit and work, what is what are the concepts in multiple users and how you use the code, where the, serve, where the code will be uh, checked in and all those things we will see in the tomorrow's class. Okay, uh, one more question. Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, Java has been uh, f from uh, long, period in the market yeah. if my client yeah. want to migrate uh, with uh, tosca uh, mm -hmm. and uh, if i want to give some uh, poc to my client so what are the advantages uh, that uh, they will get by this tool and what kind of support and uh, uh, license you said uh, this is the license tool right uh, correct yeah 
so uh, how uh, the license will be uh, charging for uh, with the tool only or uh, based on the customers that they are been using uh, in the uh, environment uh, so how they yeah, going license, to charge for this yeah license part is pretty much about business i'm not that much sure about the business part how the resentence is taking up because i am only uh, i mean i am only known to my project and my company okay so license part i'm not that much sure about it but yeah you can talk to them and uh, coming to uh, yeah as i told you right it's a scriptless tool so no one has to whenever your uh, client has to deploy some people for automation testing there's no mandatory that it, he has to learn some tool okay so he can he can be a simple manual tester with two or three years of experience only thing is he has to understand what is a test case and uh, uh, what is a test case what is regression test suit the those basic concepts should be there for you to uh, start with tosca so that is the only thing and uh, to give you a benefits to your uh, he can i mean he can convert he can even run his jelly uh, selenium scripts from tosca so that is one thing if he's already into uh, selenium java and he wants to use tosca he can run that selenium scripts here also so there is no need for you to again recreate all the scripts which are already there he can simply use one add-in and he can run all his selenium scripts okay and integration with qc or jira is very easy when you when coming to tosca so it's like whenever you run your execution list all these things will be automatically updated in your hplm so which is a very very big task for every tester to go and update that whatever the status and update the test I mean, uh, even the uh, documents also, right? Screenshot documents also. It is very hard for you to upload. But when you are using Tosca, it is very easy. It, won't, it will only do everything. So you just have to buy the tool. That is the only thing that you have to do. <laughs> uh, oh, one more question, Mansa. Yeah. Uh, if we want to schedule some uh, test uh, suit, yes. right? Uh, right? So uh, is that possible with this tool or uh, do we need to connect with any Jenkins or CI/CD tools like? Yeah, inbuilt we have one concept called distributed execution. We can do with Tosca. There is nothing that we have. We can do with Jenkins. Okay, there's no need for you to put something from Jenkins. But yes, but if you want to run your, if you have already created your pipeline and you want to uh, inbuilt your testing also, yes, it, it also supports the CI/CD pipeline also. Jenkins also it will support you can do it we will also discuss that some part of that in our uh, this thing okay how to do that pipeline create pipeline creation and all we can I mean I'm not going to explain but yes for sure we are doing how to uh, learn this how to run our test cases in distributed execution systems and how to set up the server how to set up this agent and how this uh, server agent will communicate all those things are covered in our uh, this I mean this course. Uh, okay, uh, one more question. Uh, so, yeah. are we going to uh, learn this Tosca with uh, uh, whatever the demo uh, application that they are provided, uh, Tricentis, uh, or uh, do we uh, uh, take up any live application uh, to train us? No, I will be, I mean, we'll be working on this demo web shop because it is easy for everyone to work on it. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and you can uh, use your live application and do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Max. No problem. Uh, any other questions? Okay, so if we have no questions, we can wind up for today. Uh, maybe tomorrow we can see a little more about. Yes, we are we are covering API testing also, Gopinath. Man, man, sir. Yeah, Hari, please go ahead. Yeah, like uh, in a project, like uh, for every project, there will be manual testers as well as automation testers. Yeah means like whatever the test cases are written by the manual tester the, those test cases are automatically again tested by the automation tester correct
okay directly like uh, uh, automation tester also will be taking the responsibility of manual tester also yeah that depends upon your project right you you can do that that's not a problem right okay 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 then if we don't have anything we can wind up for today's session we can meet up in tomorrow's session and we can see a little more about what is tosca how to learn tosca thank you so much for joining today's session have a very nice day and bye bye yeah uh, mansa nishant here uh, last one more question yeah no problem nishant please go ahead yeah uh you said uh, we will be getting uh, some interview questions at end of the uh, training right so uh, is it uh, like uh, straight questions or uh, scenario based questions uh, that you are going to provide and uh, if it is a, uh, a plain uh, straight questions uh, what is what like uh, uh, can you going to uh, cover uh, with scenario based uh, training uh, just my suggestion in the training uh, yeah it's say. already covered we are not doing uh, one on one. so interview questions are also not for everyone if whoever is interested and i'll be sharing up one uh, sheet okay so that sheet uh, you have to give your interest if you are interested only then i'll take up that and nothing is one on one here like i mean like a straight question so you don't expect any straight questions here obviously it will be i mean how the interviewers will ask how the interviews will be so that is how only i tell i am not if, because straight questions even in google if you find you, you can just go and google it you will find the straight questions there is no yes. point of me uh, explaining the same thing okay i am not going to uh, I, it's all only according to my real time experience and how my project teammates how i do an interview in my project so that is how the same way i can explain but it's it's purely like on interest basis only if whoever is interested for resume preparation and interview preparation only for them it's a one on one i'll just take up a one on one for them and i'll do it yeah uh... but in the sessions in the sessions i'll do I, i'll be stressing about topics what kind of questions were they asked how they think the questions what might be the question pattern all those things will be explained okay thank you no problem yes then that's it for the day have a very nice day and thank you so much bye bye thank you mas thank you all